I got to believe there is some validity to all this stuff. I really How don't. common do you think it is, Dick? Because you, you mentioned, and certainly there's nuance and facts and explanations in all of these places. You look in the cracks and, uh, you know, I don't know John Calipari's situation. I just know in his wake, he leaves probation for whatever the reasons are at multiple programs. Probation. Well, he's never charged, Dan. He's never, ever been charged. People don't want to buy that. If you're anti-John Calipari, you're not going to buy that. People aren't being fair. People that want to be fair and objective have to look at the records. The NCS totally cleared him. Best guess, Dick. Best guess. I know you're friends with him, but best guess, John Calipari has cheated at some point in his life. All right, let's go to the next point. I disagree with <laughs> the next point. What role does the NCS... Let me, let me, what's going on? I think I said it a little bit earlier. Dan, I really believe one of the problems when you go to... I don't know, you named the university. Things you're saying with him. I'm sorry, Dick. Hey, there, yes, sir. No, well, I'm listening to you, Dick, but I'm being blamed for things Stugatz, my co-host, is saying to you. So I, there, there are two people talking to you here, and I'm getting... Uh, well, I didn't I, ask I, for facts. That's I, the best I, guess. I know, but I'm just saying, like, Dick Vitale is going to get mad at me because of things you're asking him, and I just wanted to clarify with him. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm glad I didn't know. I thought I was just talking to Dick. No, Dick, that was me. That was me. Be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. By the way, let me just me. bring this... Let me just tell you this. I think one of the biggest nations, and it's been there for years, Thanks, and believe me. I think it's very, I, I don't know what the answer is to clear it up, but I'm going to tell you, I think one of the biggest problems, the fat cats, the Charlie Tuners, the big fish, guys that want to befriend student athletes, they want to go to the parties, they want to bring them to their houses, they want them to associate, and they really lay the cash on these kids and tell them, shut up, this is between us, don't tell the coach, nobody knows, I'm going to take care of you. That's the biggest problem. I think personally, and I, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I think personally there should be laws in every state that if a guy like a Shapiro comes, this is, he gets nailed about being involved and really jeopardizing the program the way he has, I think they got to be criminally charged. I really do. And I think we got to try this somehow. But you need strong leaders as well who are willing to say, you know what? We don't care about his cash he's going to give us. He's going to hurt us. He's going to create a nightmare. I'm going to tell you this. Now to Duke, Roy Williams in Carolina, Mike Shishev, they had tolerating that nonsense, man. They're not going to tolerate any of that. And Dean Smith, when he was there, they're not going to tolerate it. Bobby Knight, say what you want about him. He wouldn't have tolerated any of that. And I think that you need strong leaders. You can't turn your back. When you see some of this stuff happening, you got to jump on it. What bigger, what bigger situation? A guy gets berated. That's a compliance office. If that's now you, you're in Miami. Is that valid? Everybody says it's true. Yeah, if that's true. That one's pretty bad. So that's why you shake your head. So and then the guy right after that is on the sidelines at football games and all, and then he's in a picture giving her fifty thousand. And that's embarrassing. And I think Donna Shalala would do the university. I think a big favor. If she would resign, I really don't. I think she should resign. I'm shaking my head, Dan. I'm shaking. My, I'm still shaking my head at you, just leaving me alone there with Dick Vitale. Well, but, I wanted Dick to no, understand no. that you were asking some of the questions what? that were bothering him, and not me. Uh, I'll be consistent here, Dick. What I'm upset about with your comments about Coach K and Dean Smith and some of the other coaches, I maintain, Dicky V, that whether they know it or not. Every coach and every university has committed some sort of NCAA infraction at some point, and some get caught and some don't, and that's it. Oh, that's being very generic. I think you're being unfair. And if they do get, if they've committed an infraction, they're not buying prosperity or prostitutes. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Not, come on, now, you're being ridiculous no, now. Dang. I don't want to waste my time. Are you serious? I mean, you're saying every coach? That is not valid. Yeah, if a guy breaks a rule, nobody be on Miami's case if they broke a rule where a kid, they were on a phone with a kid an hour more than they were supposed to or something else. Come on, I'm not going to waste my time, Dan. Forget it. Well, you said, I mean, you asked me the question. He still thinks it's me, right? He still thinks it was me that upset him. I sure hope so. Mike, um, Mike, why why is your head in your hands? Well, what happened there? I didn't, say, I didn't say Coach K was buying prostitutes for Corey McGetty. Never said that. Or out the knobby. No, I didn't say that. Mike, why is your head in your hands? Why? What? What? Who do you think is going to get in trouble here? It ain't going to be you, Mike. It ain't going to be Stu Gatz. Who do you think is going to get in trouble with ESPN? 
Well, I think Mike's concerned because he has a nice relationship with Dickie V here. He's a guest, comes on. I mean, now our NCAA tournament preview is screwed. I mean, we're done. <laughs> Let's move on. What are we going to get for March Madness? Billis? That interview will be up on the 800 411 Payne Audio Archive at 790theticket.com in minutes. But they were fair questions. Dan Levitard. Eat the Wang Dang Doodle. Stugatz. Eat it. And Hockman. Eat the Doodle. This is 790 The Ticket. And um, I'm, I'm not sure what just happened there beyond the, the fact that you really pissed off a beloved... Uh, Icon, um, but I, you know, you pressed hard. I on did, you, yeah. but I'm not sure that you weren't just pressing hard on a sensitive area. Well, I know it was pressing hard, but you know what I mean. Like area. I don't think I don't think there was anything particularly unreasonable about what you were doing. And I, you know, because we are uncomfortable, awkward radio, <laughs> was simply trying to point out to Dick Vital that that he was talking to both of us because I, I think he was getting mad at me <laughs> for the things that you were asking. He was. He did not realize that he was talking to two people. That was clear. That was obvious to me. He did not realize that. Okay, and so, but I'm not I'm not sure, you know, you, you could have been slightly more delicate, I suppose. You could have pressed him. You could have pressed him on the same, on, on the point that you were making uh, slightly more delicately, but I'm not here well, to critique how you do your job. Well, I mean, that's fine. No, you can critique how I do my job. I, I felt like I was delicate. Like, Dono uh, just said me... Not, that was not delicate. No, Dan, the first Dan, question... That was not delicate. No, Dan, the first, best I'm guess. not saying it was unfair. Delicate, it was not. You started by calling him a tweet thief. Well, that was a joke. Come on. Okay, but you called him a tweet thief. Well, I, I sent that same tweet out yesterday. I mean, he did. I mean, but I, I, I don't Dick think he, I don't think he, your yeah, I don't think he got the joke that that you were saying. But you know what happened? I thought I personally thought the Calipari question was a little out of line because it would be like Dan going on a radio show up and and it, there's a, a cheating scandal and them saying, "Well, you know, uh, you know, Stu Gotts. I mean, you're you're saying that he's never cheated on his wife." And what and, the and, best and, guess question was probably not the because uh, I'm asking him, hey, just make a guess about your friend. Uh, well, you wanted him to. I mean, you wanted him to say something about his friend that was really a negative thing that he would have been saying, and then you kind of went back. I don't know why you felt it necessary to give him your strong opinion. Well, no, you then need, want, like I. I well, mean, hold you know, on a second. No, you got it. It just I mean, seemed weird to me that it was the <laughs> one time you decided to really get your opinion across. Well, I, I want you to think about it for a second because he's giving his thing about Co Coach K would never have that and Dean Smith would never have that even though Coach K was being uh, investigated two weeks ago. As a matter of fact, two weeks ago for talking to a player during an AAU tournament, but forget about that. And but what Dan he was said, saying was talking to a player versus prostitutes. I and didn't say Coach K. Hawk, listen to what I said. I said every school and every coach has done it. Whether they know they're doing it or not, they've committed some sort of infraction. That's all I said. And he, what he, was, what he Yeah, but what he was saying was here's an unbelievably egregious uh, infraction Accusation. By, by this university. And now you're saying, well, everybody cheats a little bit. And so he was like, you know, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. And I don't really blame him. Well, I mean, I'm uncomfortable with a guy saying, Dean Smith would never have that and Coach K would never have that. I'm sure at one time, if you go back, Dickie B was praising Bruce Pearl. And Bruce Pearl would never have And then Bruce Pearl, that it happened to Bruce uh, Pearl. I don't know. That ah, would never happen to Pete Carroll. And then it happens to Pete Carroll. You, no, no. No, Dick Vitale should be holding up the Dean Smiths and the Coach K. I mean, Dick Vitale is Mr. College Basketball. The moment he starts saying, yeah, Dean Smith probably cheated in his day, and Coach K is probably cheating. Now, the moment Dick Vitale says that, that's the end of college basketball. It was, uh, it was excellent radio. Uh, Mike Wilbon will join us uh, next. Mike Wilbon next. See what Stugatz does to piss him off. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even gonna talk anymore. Get him to hang up. How are you gonna, how are you gonna get him to hang up? <laughs>